Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 23, now verses 6 to 9. Jesus is being taken to King Herod because of his Galilean um, background there. So let's see what happens. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked if the man were a Galilean. And as soon as he knew that he belonged to Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at that time. Now when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad, for he had desired for a long time to see him, because he had heard many things about him, and he hoped to see some miracle done by him. Then he questioned him with many words, but he answered him nothing. So Herod is in Jerusalem at this time, and so, boom, they take Jesus to Herod, and Herod is real excited because, oh, I want to see some miracles. Now, Herod is a, Herod's a problem. If you study out the life of Herod as it's revealed in those Gospels, Herod is not a guy you want to, you don't want to be his neighbor. He's, he's, you want to stay far away from this guy. So anyway, he wants to see Jesus do some magic tricks, right? He wants to see a miracle done by Jesus. What a vain and empty person. Here's the king of the universe. He's there to redeem everybody, including Herod, if he'd be willing. And Herod is like, show me some tricks. And look at Jesus' response. And you might be surprised. I might be re surprised by the response. Jesus doesn't say anything to him. He doesn't complain about the injustice done him. He doesn't. He doesn't say, look, I, he just doesn't say anything to Herod. And this is going to make Herod quite angry because you don't, I, I'll look who I am. I'm Herod. I'm the big, I'm the big dog here. I'm the big guy. You don't, you don't look at, you don't treat me that way. You don't say nothing to me. And so Jesus says nothing to him. Jesus has an absolute unwillingness to participate in Herod's nonsense. And so we'll see what happens from that tomorrow morning. It's interesting that sometimes God won't even give an answer. Here is Jesus. He won't give an answer. Herod wants him to do a miracle, and Jesus, Jesus is, uh, no, not going there, not doing that, not even talking about it. Very, thank you very much. Doesn't say a word. God's truth is self-evident. It's evident if you have any any openness, any readiness to have the Holy Spirit speak to your heart, then you would be ready. Herod, Herod has seen enough. Jesus doesn't have anything for Herod because Herod's conscience is burned. I don't think there's anything left in Herod's conscience at this point. Interesting when Jesus himself holds his tongue. That's usually a bad day. Friends, I hope we're using our ears to hear from the God of heaven. Let's pray. Father in heaven, today, Lord, we look to you. We want to be right. Help our hearts to be right. Help us to receive the gifts you have from heaven for us, for our conscience, for our mind, for our emo emotional part. Help us to receive all of your gifts, Lord, so that we can draw closer and closer to you. Help us not to be so burned out that there's nothing to be said to us, that we've grieved away your Holy Spirit completely. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, thankfully for you and I, for even watching this, there should be a glimmer of hope in there. Jesus wants us to turn to him fully.